I'm Becky Witten. I studied a Bachelor of Audio Engineering at SAE and graduated in 2017. So before I started at SAE, I was recording a lot of my own solo work and I was literally just recording heaps of layers of my own voice. And I decided I wanted to study mixing because I felt really frustrated with how those arrangements ended up sounding. Like I knew that the songs were good and I knew that there was something there that was like moving me, but I felt like there would be a better way to showcase them. It was great just to have like a, a way of communicating, I suppose, with other audio engineers so that I could start to learn those really practical skills. And I also learned so much from the other audio students, like everyone that I worked alongside came from a different background and they brought different skills. I learned a lot from a guy who loved to record prog drums and um, so many different like strengths and, and diverse skill sets. I think like something that I reflect on a lot is before I started studying, a lot of people would say, you know, don't study audio because you can just Google all that stuff. Um, um, but the thing is, unless you're in a community where people are sort of speaking the language, it's actually pretty hard to know what to even Google to start with. So during my work placement module, I think the vocabulary and the skills that I learned at SAE were pretty crucial. I was interning for another audio engineer, Andre Ehrman, um, and that basically set up my career in audio. Um, so through him, I was able to meet a lot of people in the music industry, create a sort of community around the work that I was doing in mixing and vocal production um, and just learn a lot of key skills in terms of like relating to the artists that I work with as well as just running my own business. I've been able to use all the skills that I've learned through my studies and through my work placement in a variety of, of studios around Australia. I've been able to work out of people's homes and take recording equipment to record like beautiful cello parts in a, in a large echoey mansion. I've been able to work out of um, a studio in Mornington Peninsula that was set up by Gautier. I've been able to collaborate with artists on production um, just using the skills that I have around mixing and I've been able to use my mixing skills to help me with my live performance as an artist so yeah it's been a really diverse way that those skills have been applicable but um, it's yeah obviously been very useful for me I've been really lucky in the projects that I've been able to work on. Um, I've been able to work with a lot of artists who make really similar music to my own um, and music that inspires me. I think that's really what allowed me to keep practicing my audio career is just like building that community and just kind of establishing a bunch of people who wanted to collaborate with me and who and, and like a bunch of people who I could encourage and who could encourage me.